You know, as interesting as our modern world might be, you cannot deny that archaeology can illuminate some amazing events from the distant past. So, from strange, unexplained artifacts to mysterious structures and civilizations that vanished, here are 16 intense archaeological mysteries. 16. Akambaro Figurines More than 32,000 of these odd little ceramic artifacts were found in 1944 in Akambaro, Mexico. While some people think the figures resemble dinosaurs, other figures are said to resemble peoples from all over the world, including Sumerians, Egyptians, and bearded Europeans. Attempts to date the figures have indicated they were created around 2500 BC, but later analysis indicated the artifacts could have been created around 1940. That's AD. Now, so so far, experts say there is no reliable evidence yet known for defining the works as true ancient artifacts, but the figurines still invite a lot of controversy today, and many people are convinced that they are the real thing. 15. The Riddle Jar This container doesn't present any puzzles or riddles as such, but it is riddled with holes, so it really would not make that good of a container. The clay vase was reconstructed at Canada's Museum of Ontario Archaeology, and it's composed of around 180 pieces. Standing just 16 inches high, the vessel dates back some 1800 years to artifacts found from Roman Britain, which was under Roman control from approximately 43 to 410 AD. Now, even after consulting with experts on Roman pottery, no one seems able to identify what the jar was actually used for. Another mystery for the museum is how the artifact wound up there in the first place. So, what would you do with a jar full of holes? 14. East Bay Walls Did you know that crude walls can be found throughout the hills that surround the San Francisco Bay Area? Now, they were built without mortar, and in some areas rise around a meter high and one meter wide. Running in sections up to a half mile long, the rocks range in size from small items to boulders that weigh more than a ton. And while they appear ancient, their exact age remains a mystery. Likewise, just what they were constructed for, and who built them. Some theories include the walls being constructed by Mongolian Chinese who arrived in California prior to the Europeans, but no evidence of this, or any other claim for that matter, has yet been found. What do you think? 13. De Keys Spheres Now these stone spheres can measure more than 2 meters in diameter, weigh about 15 tons, and are sculpted from gabbro, which is kind of an equivalent to basalt. Over 300 of these stone spheres have been discovered in Costa Rica, and are thought to have been made by a long-lost civilization. Although it's impossible to exactly date them, the spheres are thought to have been constructed sometime between 1500 and 500 BC. Their exact purpose remains unknown, and they are thought to have been constructed by a civilization known as the De Keys. Now, there is one theory suggesting the spheres were used to line the walkways to the houses of chieftains. And they were discovered in the 1930s while jungle was being cleared for banana plantations. 12. Lines in the Sand Now, you likely know all about the Nazca Lines, those mysterious geoglyphs etched into the desert sands of southern Peru. Well, in 2011, satellite and aerial photography revealed the Middle East contained thousands of similar patterns. Bizarre stone wheels were located in Saudi Arabia, Syria, and Jordan, and are thought to date back some 2,000 years. The more numerous than the Nazca Lines, and could even be older. The shapes come in a wide variety of forms, and are often found on lava fields but they don't seem to form any particular pattern that might align with the stars, and that deepens the mystery of the purpose. 11. Baby Disposal Now, along with some amazing wonders, archaeologists can also make some gruesome discoveries. Now, such is the case with this Roman Byzantine bathhouse in Ashkelon, Israel. While excavating the sewer system there, experts found a large amount of discarded human bones, which turned out to be baby bones. Nearly a hundred infants were disposed of from the bathhouse above to the sewers below. To date, no one has come up with a reason for why those children were killed in such a manner. 10. Headless Vikings Near Weymouth, Dorset in the UK in 2009, a gruesome discovery was made. A mass grave containing 54 skeletons and 51 heads of Scandinavian men was found at Ridgeway Hill. Experts placed the date of executions at between 970 and 1025 AD and believe the men were Vikings, who were executed by the local Anglo-Saxons. While the immediate circumstances of the men's deaths are unknown, the invading Vikings and the native Anglo-Saxons were in a period of conflict at their time, so the Vikings may have been captured during an attempted raid on Anglo-Saxon territory. 9. Ancient Chemical Warfare 
Experts think they may have found one of the first ever uses of chemical warfare dating to 256 AD. While searching underneath the site of an ancient Roman-Persian battlefield in Syria, researchers found some siege tunnels that had been dug underneath the city. The bodies of 19 Roman soldiers were found in the tunnels, and it appeared as if they were all trying to make a desperate escape. But from what? A Persian soldier was found clutching his chest, and experts hypothesized that the Persians created a black smoke from sulfur and bitumen creating a choking gas that acidified the lungs of the Romans and of that one Persian soldier. 8. A Copper Scroll An ancient copper scroll was discovered in 1952 at Qumran, an archaeological site on the West Bank. It's thought to date back around 2,000 years and is actually one of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Now, this one differs in that it is not written on papyrus or parchment. This scroll is made of copper and does not contain a literary work. Inscribed are various locations which might indicate where massive amounts of gold and silver might be hidden or buried. Researchers think the scroll might have been hidden by locals to keep it out of the hands of the Romans during the region's frequent rebellions against the empire. 7. Ancient Animal Traps A 5,000-year-old animal trap was found in the Negev Desert of Israel. Archaeologists originally thought the traps were only a few hundred years old. Near-identical devices were used by local Bedouins in the last century. Now, to the casual eye, the traps look like a pile of stones, not unlike a can. But they were used to catch carnivores, likely by people occupying the area who kept herds of sheep or goats. The trap worked by a piece of meat attached to a rope to entice a predator like a leopard into a stony box which measured about 60 centimeters high. Once the animal entered the deliberate opening, the heavy door would shut, trapping the animal within. 6. The Jordan Wall Better known as the Kat Shabib, it's a wall that runs for more than 90 miles that cuts across the Jordanian countryside. First noticed by a British diplomat in 1948 while flying over the country, the structure still baffles experts. Because the wall rises only about 3 feet high and half that in width, it's difficult to imagine whether the architects were trying to keep something out or in. Around 100 towers standing up to 12 feet tall still stand in various states of disrepair, but it is is unlikely they were used for any sort of defensive purpose. More recently, experts have conjectured that the wall may have represented a barrier between farmers and nomadic peoples. 5. The Golan Structure also known as Ruj al-Hiri. It's a mysterious ancient megalithic monument located in an Israeli-occupied area of the Golan Heights. More than 42,000 basalt rocks were used to create a series of concentric stone circles that emanate from a 15-foot tall mound at the center, which contains a huge burial chamber. The outermost wall is an immense 520 feet in diameter and stands some 8 feet tall. Scholars estimate the age of the structure dating to the early Bronze Age II period, around 3000 BCE. It's theorized that it may have served as a place of worship and or burial, or may have served some sort of astronomical function. 4. Venetian Vampire Were the remains of a female vampire unearthed in Venice, Italy? The skeleton was unearthed from a mass grave that dated to the Venetian plague of 1576, where she was found buried with a brick in her mouth. That was done in order to keep the vampire from feasting on plague victims. Archaeologists claim it's the first time they've ever found a specimen with a brick in the mouth and have managed to identify the unusual ritual. 3. The Mystery of Mohenjo-Daro The culture of the Indus Valley civilization appeared some 4,500 years ago and built the cities of Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro in present-day Pakistan. The civilization flourished for at least a thousand years. Now, did you know that Mohenjo-Daro had a complex system to control the city's water? And almost every home enjoyed a bath and proper drainage. But around 1900 BCE, scholars say that the city, along with the entire Indus civilization, went into a sudden decline. The reasons for how and why this came about are still a mystery and may never be known. 2. Gobekli Tepe Located in Turkey, Gobekli Tepe is estimated to date back to the 10th millennium BCE and is considered to be the world's oldest known temple site. More than 200 huge T-shaped stone pillars can be found erected in 20 circles and measuring around 20 feet high, each pillar weighs some 20 tons. 
Well, those pillows are fitted into sockets carved out of the local bedrock. Now to date, experts cannot explain how the monumental complexes were constructed by primitive hunter-gatherers, if indeed they were the ones who actually built it. Exact details of the site's function still remain a mystery. Archaeologists have examined a pillar there called the Vulture Stone, which features some mysterious animal carvings. Interpreting the animal symbols as astronomical symbols, a computer program was used to sync up their positions to the patterns of stars, and that revealed an event that could be traced back to approximately 11,000 BC. 1. Screaming Mummies Now the mystery of the screaming mummy started in 1886 when a researcher named Gaston Maspero unwrapped an unidentified mummy near the Valley of the Kings. It was the body of a young man, but his face was contorted in what appeared to be an agonizing, blood-curdling death scream. Was this mummy actually captured at the peak moment of the young man's excruciatingly painful death? Evidence suggests this fellow was buried quickly, and that might provide an explanation for his contorted face. Because if the chin was not strapped to the skull, the jaw could open up and result in the appearance of an eternal scream. 